Hey everybody, thanks for clicking over and watching this. Uh, I'm going to do three examples. I'll start with number three because it's just the most straightforward. Um, we're going to do that double distribution that we talked about in class. Okay. If I were to, just as a reminder, if I were to distribute it, anything into parentheses x plus 5, say um, a z. If I were to distribute this z into the parentheses, it would look like x times z or z times x plus 5 times z. You distribute the z to the 5 as well and have 5 times z. The only difference here is instead of a z in the parentheses that I've made here, we have some more stuff going on. We have an x minus 2. But the idea is the same. Distribution is still true. x minus 2 times x is what we get when we distribute it to the x. When we distribute it to the 5, we get 5 times x minus 2. And now to complete uh, this whole process, we would have to distribute again. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Right? Plus, plus, 5 times x is 5x. And 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Um, now, I'm going to go on into number 5. So the same thing again, only we have some extra stuff. What do we do with that? Well, first we're going to deal with the distribution part, and then we'll just bring this into the mix. So we'll distribute the x plus 4, and actually, just to mix it up, I'll distribute the x plus 7 this way, into the x and the 4. So I'll distribute this into the x plus 4. The reason I can do that is because we can multiply two numbers in any order. 5 times 3 is the same as 3 times 5. Okay, And that truth that makes that true is the same thing that tells me I can multiply x plus 7 into this parentheses rather than from left to right. So I'll get x plus 7 times x is x times x plus 7 plus x times or x plus 7 times 4 is 4 times x plus 7. Then we have this other stuff, plus 3x plus 8. Now we distribute the x into the x plus 7. We get x squared plus 7x plus 4 times x plus 4 times 7, which is 28, plus 3x plus 8. And we'll combine like terms. So x squared, that's all there is. 7x plus 4x plus 3x is 14x. 28 plus 8 is 36. For number 2, we have 2 terms times 3 terms. Um, we can distribute the 2 terms into these three terms, distribute this to the three things there, and that's what that would look like. We could instead uh, distribute the big parentheses of three terms to these two parentheses. Okay, so we could distribute this whole thing into the x and the 5. And that's what that would look like. Um, we can work it in, in both of these ways. Let me just scoot this one over because we all we've done so far is the distribution. We also have for this one you have to add the 2x and the minus 8 and this one as well plus 2x minus 8. Okay. I'll work this one through this way. Okay, x squared times x plus 5. x to the third. x squared times x is x to the third. That's x times x. That's what x squared is. x times x times another x would be x to the third. So it's 5x squared. Now we'll distribute the negative 2x to the x. We get negative 2x squared. Negative 2x times 5 is negative 10x. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2x minus 8. Uh, now we have x to the third. 5x squared minus 2x squared, and there's no other x squareds around, so we have plus 3x squared. Negative uh, 10x plus 3x plus 2x. Um, so that's negative 10x plus 5x, so right? Negative 5x. Uh, plus 15 minus 8, that's plus 7. Um, let's do it this way. Distribute the x into this big parentheses now. x times x squared is x to the third. x times negative 2x is negative 2x squared. x times 3 is 3x. Plus 5 times x squared is 5x squared. 
5 times negative 2x is negative 10x. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2x minus 8. If you look through these terms, I'm not looking at these, these terms and these ones, you'll find the same exact things, the same negative 2x squared, negative 2x squared, and negative 10x, there's that negative 10x. They just might be in a little bit of different order, but since they're all the same, you know they're going to combine the same, right? You have x cubed, negative 2x squared, plus 5x squared is 3x squared. And negative 10x plus 2x plus 3x is going to be negative 5x. Negative 5x. Uh, that's our x cubed, x squared, x's, and 15 minus 8 is 7. Uh, so there you go, three examples, three different kinds of uh, problems. Um, and yeah. thanks for watching that. I appreciate you taking the time. I hope it's helpful. And let me know if you have any questions.